welcome to another one. It's episode number seven. And in today's episode, I'm going to be doing something also very simple. I'm going to be introducing you guys to simple basic math operation. So I'm going to be doing a simple application with AND. And then I'm going to say math operations app. So I'm going to be doing simple math operation, which is your addition, your subtraction, your multiplication, your division, and your remainder. And if you haven't watched the other episode, just go to the playlist and you can watch episode number one up until episode number six in order for you to build up on the knowledge. And remember to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Give a comment down below and give us ideas on what we can do in this channel in order for us to grow the content. All right. So first things first, this is the first thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to do declarations. And then what I want to do is that I want two numbers. I want number one. And I also want a number which is going to be number two. And then inside here, what I want to do is that I want to prompt the user. Input. So I'm going to prompt the user for input. I'm going to say, please enter. Number one. Okay, let's say, please enter the first number. Then let's make it be on the same line. And then let's have a scanner for it. Let's see. New scanner. All of this information has been dealt with in the previous episodes. Just go and watch one of the episodes which deals with inputs. You just need to import the scanner up there. Then we say num1 is then assigned to sc.next int because we are taking in an integer and then system that out the print line. Say please enter, please enter the second number. We also want it to appear in the same line. Then we're going to bring it here. Then we're just going to say num2, then assign to sc dot next int also. There we go. Then now we're going to process the information. And do calculations. So and then now, what we're going to do here is that we're going to do a sum, a difference. We're going to do a remainder. And we're going to do a double, which is going to be the quotient, which is just a division. So now I'm going to store the sum of the two numbers. So for sum, I'm going to say num1 plus num2. This is the sign for addition. Uh, that's for the sum. And then let's also do one for the product, which is going to be multiplication. Then we're going to say product is then sign to num1 here is the sign for multiplication you use a star and then let's do the one for difference num1 minus num2 and then for the quotient So for the quotient, what you need to do is that you need to do what we call explicit casting. And if you do it like this, if you say num1 
divide by num2. Let's continue with this mistake. This is going to give us a partial correct answer. This is because in programming, Java programming, the division of an integer by an integer will give you an integer. In order for you to get a double, you need to change either one of this one in the numerator or in the denominator to be a double. That is by using explicit casting. So, explicit casting. So we need to do explicit casting there. And then now when we get here below, we want to display the processed info. So we want to see system that out. But since I've already introduced you to a little bit of strings, uh, I'm gonna set up a display here, make it an empty string so that I can concat. What you do, you say disp, you assign it, you write disp again, you say dot concat. Okay, I need to make sure that you yeah, have spelled this correctly. This to be a string, hence we were getting an error. Say dot concat. And then inside here, I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna say the sum, the sum of, so to put in the actual number, you need to concat, say num1, and then you say and, concat again, say num2, and then you concat, you then have to say is, and then you concat, and then you write the sum here. And then um, if I wanna go to a new line, then I will then have to say, concat, then go to slash n, which that is going to take it to the new line, concat, and then go and write the second thing. So, and then I'm gonna say the product of, of concat number one, concat, say, and concat number two, concat, can you say is space, and then I'm gonna write product here, which has been calculated here. Then I'm gonna go to a new line. Okay, I'll go to the next line. And then I'm gonna say the difference of number one here. Okay, and Cat num two cat can say is cat diff then go to a new line control save cat then now we are going to say that the quotient of num1 and then and not net and concat num2 there's no num3 then we're going to say is quotient and then concat but even though we do not go to the new line, that is going to be the Let me just fix this. It's quotient. Okay. So then we're gonna have that. That should be correct. So in, instead of me displaying one by one and writing too many system that out of display. Here, I'm just going to put this inside here. And uh, before I can write anything, I would want to get a new line here. So let me just put it here. System.out.println. 
uh, let's just get a new line. And then as soon as we're having a new line, then we can put in a, maybe let's say stars. That should be sufficient enough to do the job for us. So now let's just run this math operation program. Then we're gonna run it here. And then when we're running it, but remember, bear in mind, I told you that we're gonna get a problem with the quotient. This is because in mathematics, uh, integer a whole number divided by a whole number should give you a whole number so as you can see the sum of one plus two is three correct the product of one multiplied by two is two and the difference of one and two is minus one so here is the problem here and then it says that the quotient of one over two meaning that one divided by two is close to 0, 0.0 which is totally wrong. It's supposed to be 0 0.5. Now, let me quickly show you how you can sort it out whenever you're doing it. So we need to explicitly cast one of this into a double. So how you do it is that you write the data type here in brackets, it's going to force this to be a double. So now it's then going to push one to be a double. So now it's going to change the scenario. As I said, that. Um, a whole number or an int divided by an int gives you an int, which is zero. So one divided by two is 0 0.5. So it's going to convert it from 0 0.5 and convert it to, it's gonna take everything that is after the comma and cut it out, and then it's gonna give you zero. Hence it was giving you a 0, 0.0. So, but in this case, it should be able to solve it out and say that the answer is 0 0.5, which is a half, which is very true. Then now there you have it, it's able to solve it. Now it says that the quotient of one over two is 0 0.5. That is the only thing that you should look out for whenever you're working with your simple mathematic operations. Now, let us do the one that we said that we wanted to do, which is the remainder. And then for the remainder is that I've done it here. I've never, really expanded on it and then let me just do it here so then for the remainder you'll see num one and then you'll use this percentage sign and put in num two this is what we call a modulus so this should then give you a remainder saying that what is the remainder of how many times does num two go into num one then it's going to give us the remainder so in this case uh if we check, uh, we can put it down here. Then we see go to a new line, okay, come down here. And then here we're gonna say the modulus. This is how you spell it, the modulus of, then you're gonna say num one. And here, num two, we have to say is, and then we say remainder like that then it should give us the remainder and then now in this case um let us change it up a little bit switch it up a little bit and then we're gonna put in an eight as the first number and then we're gonna put in a let's say maybe a three as the second number so eight plus three is eleven eight times three is twenty four which is true is eight twelve uh eight sixteen twenty four i mean and then eight a minus a three is a five. And then the quotient is eight divided by three will give you two, six, 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 five. Then now eight, now, okay. So now eight divided by three is that eight, when you do, how many times does it go into three, which is two times. And what is the remainder? The remainder is a two. And actually that is the correct answer. It gives you the answer, which is two. Then let's try it out with the last number, just for us to make sure that we are having it work properly. Let's say we want a 10 here. 
And the next thing that we want is uh, three. Okay, so now three plus 10 is 13. Three uh, times 10 is 30. Three minus, 10, 10 minus three is seven. And then 10 divided by three is three, 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 three five. And then now the modulus is how many times does three go into 10, which is three times is gonna give you a nine. And when you minus from the 10, the remainder is actually a one, which means it's actually working fine. So this is the basic code that is gonna deal with all the meth basic mathematical operations that you're gonna need. And then after that, in episode number eight, I'm then going to introduce you to what we call the math class, which is a predefined class that you can use in order for you to do extra mathematical operations like calculating your sign, your course, your absolute values, and also your tangent and so forth and so forth and also your logarithmic. And then until the next one, but uh, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe, and share this video with everyone. Share it on all of your digital platforms. And please also make sure to follow us on Facebook at Great Minds Tutorials. Until the next one, that's it from me. Cheers. Goodbye.